Okay, so we're going to go into Hosea 5.15. That's what I've been dealing with. Hosea 5 and 15. And it reads, I will go and return to my place, the Most High said. Till they, which is we, the 12 tribes of Israel, acknowledge their offense. So I did a lot of scriptures on how we offended it, and it don't stop. It's going to be part of what I'm going to go into now and what I've already been in. It's and seek my face. So as we seek his face, you're going to hear how we offended him. And hopefully it'll move you to fear the most high. Be afraid and be scared of the most high. King of terrors, he calls himself. Because you ain't seen nothing till he show up. You know, you ask somebody that's been through a tornado. You ask somebody that's been through a hurricane. That's been through a, a thunderstorm where lightning is tearing up stuff. You know, a volcano eruption. You know, a tidal wave. Where they the tidal wave then came and just wiped out everything in this path, but then when it come back, it grabbed something and just take it out there in the middle of the ocean. I seen a tidal wave where a man was on top of his roof out way out in the middle of the ocean. That's the most high. He said, you're going to be visited on the most high. But see, people... They're not afraid of him, but when he visits you and you start hollering to him, he's going to mock you. He say going to mock and laugh at you. That's why it's very important. Understand this, Yasharala. Twelve tribes of Israel. And whoever else hears the word of the Most High. They realize who he is. You better understand. Look at Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter. Wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter. In the Apocrypha. The 14 books that the Protestants took out. Look at um, verse 2. Therefore, chastise thou them by little and little that offend. You know? Therefore, chastise thou them by little and little that offend. Remember, he said that. I'm, he said, I'm going to go to my return to my place until. We, as the children of Israel, acknowledge our offense. What did he say? Was in Solomon 12 and 2. Therefore, chastise thou them by little and little that offend, and warneth them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended. That's why we looked at all those scriptures and looking at this. That leaving their wickedness, leaving our unrighteousness, breaking the Most High's laws, his rules and regulations, leaving that alone and coming back to him by keeping his law, statutes, commandments, his rules and regulations, they may believe on thee. Hear that? So you don't believe on the Most High. Anybody telling you that you ain't under the law, you don't believe on this, the Most High that I'm talking about. The Most High that's in this Bible, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob being the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. You hear what he said? Therefore, chastise thou them. Little by little and little, that offend. I mean, he gets your butt. And wanted them by putting them in remembrance, wherein they have offended. That leaving their wickedness, they may believe on thee. So you, all you that's in wickedness, you don't believe on the Most High. You got no faith in the Most High, old Most High. Hm. Listen. Verse 1, for thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. So whatever he's doing is right. Is right. Understand, understand it. So there's no way that, you know, you can look at this any other way except for you got to change. And that's before him. Because he see everything. Yeah, what he don't see, you got people that, well, I'm going to say, I can say, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. He see everything. <laughs> Let's deal with that because, man, this is real serious, you know. And um, we can, you know, take it lightly if you want to, but um, we're going to be dealt with. 
little by little, like he said, little by little, he's checking us. But it's going to end. We're in a time that it could soon end. But we got to go through the next part, the last part of Hosea, the fifth chapter, the 15th verse. I ain't got there yet. I'm just looking at seeking his face. And to seek his face, we got to come out of wickedness. We got to come out come out of doing the things that we was doing that was wrong, y'all. You know? Since we're in the pocket, let's go to 2nd Ezra. The fourth chapter. And verse 23. 2nd Ezra 4 and 23. Then I answered and said, How and when shall these things come to pass? Wherefore are our years few and evil? You know? So when are these things going to come to pass? Say, why is our years few and evil? And he answered me, saying, Do not thou hasten above the most highest, for thou hast above the most highest, for thy has, has is in vain. For thy haste, you want to hurry up and know, is in vain to be above him. But thou has much exceeded. Did not the souls also of the righteous ask questions of these things in their chambers, asking, How long shall I hope on this fashion? When cometh the fruit of the floor of our reward? He said, When is we going to get the reward of everlasting life? The kingdom. And unto these things, Uriel, the archangel, gave him answer. So the Most High sent his Holy Spirit, Uriel, Holy Angel, speak with Ezra. That's who he's dealing with. We never dealt directly with the Most High, mouth to mouth. And unto these things, Ereo, the archangel, gave them answer and said, Even when the number of seeds is filled in you, for he hath weighed the world in the balance. So, it's got to be enough seeds of the people that's going to come on this earth. He weighed the world in the balance. By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times. And he does not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. You see, he got a certain amount of time that he's going to measure, and people that's going to come on this earth, it's got to be fulfilled. Then I said, I and said, oh, master. That bear rule, even we are all full of impiety. And for our sakes, peradventure, or perhaps it is that the floors of the righteous are not filled because of the sins of them that dwell upon the earth. Hear that? The number of spirits or souls that are supposed to come on this earth not be fulfilled because of the sins of we that live on this earth. Including, including himself. That's marvelous in the eyes of the Most High. Did you hear anything else? Remember that. Because we want to be marvelous before the Most High. So don't think yourself will be all that. So he answered me and said, Go thy way to a woman with child, a woman having a baby, and ask of her, when she have fulfilled her nine months of carrying a baby, if her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. So giving an analysis of how it's going to be for the most high to end this world that exists now. Remember it said, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world. That's what he's concerned about. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. We got next forever and ever and ever as the Israelites. So he's given analysis of a woman carrying a baby nine months. And the baby's in her womb. Verse 42. For like as a woman that travaileth, meaning having them labor pains, they be far apart, then they get closer and closer and closer and closer. Make of haste to escape the necessity of the travail. I'm going to hurry up and get this baby out. That's what it's saying. Even so, do these places 
haste to deliver those things that are committed unto them. So everywhere bodies are, they want it, you know, hurry up to get them out of there too. From the beginning, look, what thou desire to see, it shall be showed thee. Then answered I and said, Ezra said to him, If I have found favor in thy sight, and if it please if it is possible, and if I be meet, therefore if I'm right before you, show me then whether there be more to come than is past, or more past than is to come. So we ask it, is there more people that live on the earth in the past? Or is there more people that's going to live on the earth in the future? What is past, I know. See, I know was the amount of people that was in the past. But what is for to come, I know not. And he said, what is 7 billion people on the earth today? If not 8? Listen to what he says. And he said unto me, stand up upon the right side, and I shall expound the similitude unto thee. So I stood and saw, and behold, an hot burning oven passed by before me. And it happened that when the flame was gone by, I looked, and behold, the smoke remained still. After this, there passed by before me a watery cloud. And sent down much rain with a storm. And when the stormy rain was past, the drops remained still. Ooh. Can you imagine that? When the drops, the drops all of a sudden, you see that in movies, just stand still. But that's what he's seen. Then said I, then said, excuse me, then said he unto me, consider with thyself, as the rain is more than the drops. And as the fire is greater than the smoke, but the drops and the smoke remain behind, so the quantity which is past did more exceed. You hear that? So the people that lived in the past did more exceed than however many people we have on the earth today. Seven billion or eight billion. It was more people in the past than it is now. They didn't have no birth control. It was, you know, Having the course of having babies. A lot more than now. That's powerful. Uh, let's go to uh second chapter seven, the seventh chapter. And verse uh Verse, uh, look at verse 19. It says, it's second of seven and 19. And he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high. There is no judge above the most high. And none that have understanding above the highest. Nobody have understanding more so than the Most High, whose ways and thoughts are not our ways and thoughts. But there is, there, it's, listen, for there be many that perish in this life. There's many people going to die in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. You hear that? You all hear that? You say, I'm going to read you again. Because, you know, you that's in these different religions, that's not really looking to find out and follow the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremony laws of the Most High, he's talking to you. All you pro chopping preachers that say that we're not under the law, but we're under grace. And you Gentiles being grafted in, you got to run around the church like a chicken with his head cut off with the, saying that's the Holy Ghost. He's talking about you. And all you that's not keeping them all to the most high. But there be many that perish in this life. You hear what he said? Many people are going to die. 
They're living in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. It's serious. Look. Hold that. Get Proverbs 13 and 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the most high, the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So fits right what we just said. You follow the laws, you got an opportunity to, to depart from the snares or the traps of death. So I look at it. Second Ezra 7 and 20. But there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. For the Most High have given straight commandment to such as came. And we came in this world. And he gave us straight commandment. What they should do to live. Let's keep his laws. Even as they came. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. Come on. That's why he said, look. Go to 2nd Ezra 9th chapter. Verse 5. Let's start at verse 5. 2nd Ezra 9 and 5. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning... We're born on the earth, and an end, you die. And the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest, that's the most high. The times of the most high have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. When you end this world, oh yeah. And everyone that shall be saved, you're talking about being saved, this is being saved. Everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works by keeping the laws of the Most High. And by faith, having faith in the Most High, by Shalom Mashak Yahushai, whereby ye have believed in the Most High, shall be preserved from the said peril, shall be preserved from the said dangers. Will be dangerous on this earth. And shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Which have abused my ways. They will be a pitiful case. Those that say we ain't under the law. Not following the most high's laws. Not concerned about what his rules and regulations are. They will be a pitiful case. Listen. Prophecy. Or the future. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. That's why I say you got to seek his face, y'all. You say we ain't under the law, you say you're going to dwell in torments. They shall... Then, excuse me, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. You're going to be in a pitiful case. It's coming for you. It's going to come to you. All you that have abused the ways of the Most High, His rules and regulations, His laws, statutes, commandments, and they that have cast them away, despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits. A lot of people, a lot of y'all think money is righteousness. I'm going to show you that y'all, well, a celebrity can say what they say and you believe them. But somebody that's poor, you don't believe them. All that's in the scripture. Ain't nothing you can bring forth that ain't already been written to know what's going to be going down. How we think. How we act. How we speak. All that's right here in this word. 
This is what he said. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Hear that? Because you don't know him if you ain't doing what he say do. Y'all can say God or Lord, whatever y'all say. It's like the books. I'm even saying them words. Y'all can say whatever y'all say, trying to identify him. But you are praying to yourself if you don't know him. You hear what he said? If you ain't keeping his laws, he don't know you. You ain't doing what he say do. How he know you? You wicked as ever. You doing whatever you want to do, and you're going to say that most high know you. How? In what way? Listen. You, heard, you hear what he's saying? He's telling you here clearly. Those that have ears to hear. And they that have lost my law, abused my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, all you hear to say, repent. You know, I'm saying fear the Most High, first and foremost. And repent. And keep the laws of the Most High. You have liberty to come back to learn this moral law, civil law, dietary law, ceremonial laws. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Well, they get an attitude about telling them what they got to do. Instructing them about coming back to the Most High's rules and regulations, His law, Statutes, and Commandments. The same must know it after death by pain. That's clear. The same must know it after death by pain. Thus say the Most High. Read it for yourself. Hopefully it will touch you. Um, going back to 2nd and 7 and 21 for the most I have given straight commandments to such as came what they should do to live even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment as we just read nevertheless they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things like you do in saying that we're not under this law. You say that the most high, these vain things that you say that the most high is vain and what he did with his finger, writing the, these laws with his finger, the work of the most high, said, I don't mean nothing. I don't mean nothing. And you teach the people that. That's what my said, I got something for you too. Matthew 5 and 19. When you have that type of spirit, that kind of attitude, and teaching people that, look. Matthew 5 and 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach man so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, do and teach what? The commandments of the Most High, which are the laws of the Most High, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's why you're talking about being under the law. You don't believe it, Amashach Yabashai. Jump up to verse 17. He said, Think not, don't even think that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. That's why the Most High said he, we got to seek his face. Because we turn our back on him. So he turned his back on us. Master Yabashai just told you, don't you think that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets? That's all he had to go by. Ain't no way in the world you could, you could stand before anyone teaching this Bible and not realize that there is no New Testament. When Master Yabashai walked the earth, or prove it. Prove when he walked the earth in the flesh that he can go to Paul's writings. He can go to Peter's writings. James, the book of James, or Revelations. Where you quote from those books from? See, that's why I say our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You don't even have what they call common sense, man. He only had the law and the prophets. That's all he had to go by. That's it. Or prove me wrong. We read in Matthew. So what book you going to go between Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to show Paul's writings? What he wrote that y'all believe in so? Beyond him, I shake up shy and don't understand what he's saying. He's an Israelite teaching other Israelites to call himself Gentiles, like you call yourself a Gentile. 
That's what my scripture said. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. That's all he had to go by was the Old Testament. That's where y'all should be all in it. Since y'all say y'all Christ shins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all should be all in it. Because that's what he went by. When he stood up to read in the, in the uh, sanctuaries and the, in the, the uh, synagogues and so forth, what did he read from? Show me where he ever stood up and read Revelations 2.25. Wherever it read, 1 Peter's and 2 Peter's uh, uh, any of Paul's writings when he stood up to read, when he was here in the flesh. Come on now, take a rock of science and figure this out. Y'all got the people, man. That's why he said you're going to be the least in the kingdom of heaven. He said, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill what was written of him to suffer. But we the 12 tribes of Israel for our sins. For verily, truly I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, heaven and earth is still here. If you hear my voice, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. The law, he said, that y'all don't like to hear. That's why I say it so much. Because y'all, that just vex you. Because y'all wicked. And he said, after death, what did he say? After death, you shall know it by pain. So I'm trying to warn you. So you ain't got to go through that. You fear the thing to fall into the hands of living power. Well, so I said, I'm going to melt you. But I understand. But verily I said unto you, and my secretary said, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. See, so, you got a choice. You make that choice. I'm just here to bring forth the spirit of the Most High so that you have a chance to hear things that you ain't heard before, or if you heard it and you still want to be rebellious, then you part of that crowd that we're speaking on right now. Verse 22 of 2nd Ezra 7. Nevertheless, they were not obedient with him. That's you. You pastors are saying that we're not under the most highest rules and regulations. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. And all you that's following that type of way. But spake against him and imagined vain things. Like religions. Come on. Religions are vain things. Really. What religion is in the Bible? Then you can go in here and say, this is our decree right here. That you got up on your wall, on your, on your wall. this is what we believe in right here. Where is that in the Bible? Catholic Church. Or any of these. That's why most of them said, till we seek his face. We got to seek his face. Because y'all still got your back toward him. In all these different religions. By not knowing this Bible, what it's talking about. And how you offending the most high. Why he say after death, you're going to know it by pain. And he might get you before that. He got something for you there too. And deceive themselves by their wicked deeds. Hear that? He said, You lying to yourself by your wicked deeds. And said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Understand this. The only way you know the Most High is you doing what he say do. You gotta, it's a sacrifice. You gotta give up all the things that your religion has taught you and start all over again from scratch. You want to really know him? You got to start all over. You got to get rid of all that. Leave it alone. Leave it all alone. And start from scratch for what this Bible is really talking about. Because y'all not dealing with nationality. The Most High said he loved Jacob. He hated Esau, but he loved Jacob. He ain't say he loved nobody else that I seen. Have you seen that? Well, he said, I love Ammon. I love Moab. I love Ishmael. I love... Uh, Elam, I love Ham, I love Esau, I love whoever. Where he say he loved the people? Where? Everybody, every nation is here in the Bible, so where he say he love all these people? And take it however you want to take it, because we don't have to take that whole lot of stuff from y'all until this day. But you got to eat it, because we done ate a whole lot of things. And we still here. And we don't die, we multiply. 
As the most I said, we more maneuvered in the sand of the sea. Hosea 1 and 10. That cannot be numbered. We cannot be numbered. We can't be censored, y'all. Y'all can try to figure out how many of us you can't even imagine. You have no imagination of how many it is. You think about back in the day when we had TV shows on every day. How many people was reached in? See, y'all looking at where you're at now. We talk about behind me. That's like almost 15 years of being on TV every day. Somewhere, how many people was reached in? And our other brothers that's been doing the same thing, still doing the same thing. We on social media. How many people being reached? You can't count that. You can't count us. But you don't want to come back to the ways of the Most High to do what's right. He said, you don't love him. You, don't have, you can't, you ain't even deal with him. You don't even deal with him. It's like a, a what is it like? Like going to a concert or something. Go see your favorite artist or whatever. You go to your, they go to your church and they're just looking at you. You know, you taking all their money and they go out and say, hey, hand them the Bible. They can't show you nothing as they are too. That's sad, man. And that's what you're supposed to stand by. Listen, he's talking to you. And deceive themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. Hear that? Knew not his ways. But his law have they despised. That's why I keep saying it. The law, you under the law, you gotta follow the law, you gotta follow the law, because I know you despise it. I've seen it vex you. They hear that we under the law. But his law have made, have they despised and Denied his covenant in his statutes, have they not been faithful and have not performed his works? That's why the Most High is saying you got we got to seek his face. Now, someone hopefully can hear this and make that change, really be born again, and want to come and learn more of this word. Of the Most High to get closer to the Most High, so that when everything go down, cause we ain't went to the affliction, I ain't got to the affliction yet. He said, "In your affliction, you gonna seek me early." See, we ain't even got to that yet. We covering it somewhat, you know, here and there, or whatever. But we ain't even got to that yet. That's the last part of that verse, as I'm doing Hosea five fifteen. So you better understand. He already told you judgment. He already given you judgment. You can hear his judgment. But his law have they despised and denied his covenant and his statutes. Have they not been faithful and have not performed his works? It's cold, man. But it's real because we are people that's robbed and spoiled and we destroy it for lack of knowledge and don't care. Don't care. That's what's sad. That's what's really, really sad. Wisdom of Solomon, first chapter. And we're going to look at the ninth verse. We've got to seek his face, man. He said, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to my place till we acknowledge our offense and seek his face. He turned his back on us because we turned our back on him until this day. Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter, verse 5. Well, let's read verse 4. For into a malicious soul... You know, this is like, you're really angry, but you really don't have no cause to be angry. Wisdom, which is the proper application of knowledge, shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. And we know sin is the transgression of the Most High's law. 1 John 3 and 4 in the New Testament that you believe in, that you only know somewhat of. 
Sin is the transgression of the Most High's laws. For the Holy Spirit of discipline, hear that? The Holy Spirit is of discipline. Will flee deceit. It's going to flee. You liars that don't lie to the people. You ain't really, you don't really have trouble. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost and, 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 and a feeling that you have. And all of a sudden you just jump up and start move, moving like, huh? jumping around like, like a chicken with his head cut off, running around the church and all that. That ain't the Holy Spirit. Show me that in the Bible. Show me that a Masha Shai came around people was teaching them and everything, or Peter or any of them, apostles, the, the prophets, and they people start running around like that, doing that. Jerking it. All that stuff. Where that at? He was like, come out of her. Come out of him. Satan? Devil? And they were saying, oh, don't, don't, don't send us back into the abyss before our time. They, the demon was saying that. Was to come out of Come on, man. Think about it. I'm going to say that because it tells you the Holy Spirit will bring all things back to your remembrance. The way you think, your thoughts, not jumping around like a ch chicken was, prove it. Prove it. Show me the scriptures where they did that. And that was the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of robots and robotees, man. That stuff went on from slavery all the way to now, man. Program, bunch of spiritual puppets, straight up. And it's sad because people see people doing it, y'all do the same thing. That's why y'all but nothing but a bunch of robots and robot teeth. You see people doing it, you can follow the same suit. For the Holy Spirit is of discipline, will flee deceit, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. You hear that? Will remove from the thoughts the way you think without any understanding. And will not abide. When unrighteousness cometh in. So look. I'm going to give you the definition of the Holy Spirit. In the scripture. Now you tell me if y'all rolling like that. Now y'all tell me when y'all be doing all that jerking and running around like. Whoa, got, your, got the Holy Ghost dance and all that stuff. Y'all got that going on. If y'all get, if y'all doing this. This is the definition of the Holy Spirit. I just want to know if y'all doing this. Um. Shame, boy, that we are subject to the things that we see and do. Mm -hmm. Sad, sad, sad. Sad issue. But it's all right because what we going to do? Same old, same old that we've been doing for generation to generation. Now, here's the definition of the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 11 chapter. And we're going to read verse 2. Mark this down. Just in case y'all don't know what the Holy Spirit is. Just the Holy Spirit. It's, would, you, would you say that the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of the Most High? And the Spirit of the Most High shall rest upon him. What is it? The Spirit of Wisdom. Proper application of knowledge. So you're getting that. As you run around the church like a chicken was head, you're getting the spirit of wisdom. Proper application of, under, of knowledge and understanding. You get to understand as you run around the church doing all that stuff. Y'all say that's the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Hmm. The spirit of counsel. So you can counsel somebody once you finish jerking it, doing all Now you get up and all of a sudden now you got all this in remembrance. And might, you got the strength of the most high, the power of the most high's word in you. Precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. You cut like a two-edged sword to the marrow of the bone. Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the most high. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mark that in your book. That's the definition of the spirit of the Most High. I mean, it's no difference because that's why the Most High say, look, that's why I say we got to seek his face because 
A lot of people love to have it so, man. They tell, talk, I went over the rebellious Israelites when we was dealing with uh, offending them. Look, now you tell me that when you have the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High, we're going to look at it just a little so you understand that you went around and jumping up like a chicken with his head cut off, running around the church and jerking and, and doing all that stuff. It's not the Holy Spirit. Look. Real quick, St. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, the same Holy, you got Holy Ghost here. I say Holy Spirit, we found no uh, definitions for ghosts. You see what I'm saying? But Spirit is Rechah. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send, how? In my name, Baha Shalom, Mashak Yahushai, in the name of the Lord and Savior, He shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. So you, when you run him out of church like a chicken with his head cut off, y'all learning all things from the Comforter, from the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Most High. Yes or no? He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. See, that's our problem. We don't know who we are. We lost our culture, our name, our, 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 all our ability to be a nation as we are, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's what he said. He shall teach you all things. So you can't be taught. You can't be instructed. Thinking you know it all and don't know nothing. If that's all you think, you teach the people that they got the Holy Spirit. All y'all, like I say, y'all know about your robots and robotees, man. It's sad. This year, going out for Esau's year, and you're still doing the same thing you did from when I was a little boy. Before slavery. Here you go, come into slavery, and you're watching what they're doing, and you're doing the same thing. Now you tell me you you getting that by doing the, your actions. Run around the church like a chicken with his head cut off, or jerking, doing a jerk, jumping up, dancing, and flapping your wings like a chicken with his head cut off. Come on. I done seen some crazy stuff. I've been up in there. I ain't never do it, because they, they ain't never want to even touch me or nothing. I want to see what it is that y'all, what kind of power y'all got. I ain't never felt nothing. They went around me. I wanted to see what, what you got going here. Let me find out what this is. Just be the spirit of the most high. People running around the church like all of a sudden I'm watching them, okay? And they ain't, they, they ain't righteous. I know them whenever they're out of the church. They ain't righteous. They got problems. They got things. They wicked. They mean and evil. Running around the church like they just got their cue. And they get up and start running around. The church like clockwork program. But tell me, they doing that. You gotta answer this question. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. So you learning as you're doing all those actions, you learning something, right? And bring all things to your remembrance to when you think. Whatsoever I have said unto you. See? Did another one. St. John 15 and 26. But when the comforter is come, which is the Holy Spirit. Did y'all say y'all have? Gotta have. Whom I will send unto you from the Father. Even the spirit of truth. Even the spirit of truth. What's the truth, y'all? We know how to sing that together. Psalms 119, 142. Same thing you say we ain't under. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So y'all saying that we ain't under the truth. We ain't dealing with the truth because you say we ain't under the law, which is the law. The law is the truth of the Most High. When the, but when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, from the Most High, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Y'all not testifying of a Mashiach, y'all was shy that I know that I've read about in this Bible from Genesis all the way in between to Revelation and in the Apocrypha. Y'all not doing that. Look, St. John 16. That's why I said we got to, he said, you got to seek his face. Because all that y'all doing and you see how people are doing and you're getting caught up in these things, man, just being a bunch of puppets, a bunch of spiritual puppets. 
robots and robotees. Spiritual darkness it's got you spiritual gross darkness, spiritual gross ignorance, because I gave you the definition of the Holy Spirit. That's what you're getting once you feel something and you jumping around the church and jerking and, and flapping your all that's all that's you getting all this here that says the comforter and the Holy Spirit brings forth. Doing all that. So when else you finish doing all that that you be doing, then I can just hang the Bible and you can just start teaching, right? Because it's going to teach you all things that bring all things back to your remembrance of this Bible. Hmm. Look at verse 7. St. John 16, 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. I mean, he ain't going to lie to you. It is expedient for you that I go away. But if I go not away, the comforter will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Because a lot of y'all be talking about the, the Holy Spirit is a female, a woman. They say, I will send him unto you. It, it depends on if you believe in the Mashiach Yabashai. You know, if some of you don't, you just use him as a word or whatever, however. But you hear what he's saying, I will send him unto you. Because the Most High ain't no female. Spirit of the Most High. And when he is come, he, not she, but he, will reprove the world of sin. See, you can't have the Holy Spirit and say you ain't under the law. Because First John, you got to go there, I'll call it. Let's, let's go there. He going to reprove the world of sin. So we got to seek the most high, man, because you got all these uh, doctrines that's so off. When you understand, I mean, this is real simple. Unless you could tell me that you're getting so much understanding from running around the church like a chicken with his head cut off and jerking, doing your jerk. All of y'all doing the same thing. That's supposed to be the spirit of the most high. Get the hell out of here, man. You better change before you end up there. He already told you that. What's sin? First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law that you say we ain't under. So do you say that we sin? Do you sin? I'm talking to you pastors. You ministers out there. Do you sin? Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. That's what you say we ain't under. For sin is the transgression of the law. So you know, I, and it comes to me, the Spirit moved me just now to say the reason why you could say that you're not under the law because you think you're a Gentile. Go to Psalms 147, 19 to 20. You think you're a Gentile and you think you've been grafted in, but you don't know who you've been grafted in among. Or else tell me, why can't you get no answers? Tell me who you were grafted in among. Or ask your pastor or your preacher, whoever it is that you're under, who were you grafted in among since you were Gentile? Because this is who the laws were given to. Psalms 147, 19 to 20. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. He show up his word unto Jacob. He show up his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, the Israelites. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise you the Most High. So is that why you say you're not under the law? Because you call yourself a Gentile and you don't consider yourself an Israelite. You believe the people that's in the land of Israel are the true ethnic and biblical Israelites that the Bible's talking about? Have you been duped that, that much? Come on, man. You know Amashach that was shy. You have to know him. That's all you folks did. That's all you really know. That's all you really purpose to know. But he said what? Revelation 2 and 9. So be no shadow of a doubt. Revelation 2 and 9. This is what he said. This is in red. He said what? I know thy works and tribulation to the real Israelites and poverty. You know I can't be talking about the, <laughs> the Jewish people. You know I can't be talking about them. They own the... The music industry, the uh, TV industry, television industry, 
They own the garment districts. They own everything, man. Ye had a list of everything that they was in charge of. Check it out. So it ain't no poverty. We are the true Israelites. But thou art rich. You know how we rich? By having this word of the Most High. And fearing him. And repenting and keeping his commandments. Keeping his laws. His rules and regulations. Because what's more rich than the kingdom's promise to us that's going to come to us? What can you find in this world that's going to be greater than the kingdom? We'll just start with streets paved in gold. <laughs> Man, that's why it's worth it to do whatever you need to do to make it there. Change, y'all. You got to change. Listen to what he say. Just in case you think that they are the true ethnic and biblical Israelites. He said, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. What are they? But are the sin of God or Satan? You got to deal with that. I'm not sure I'm who they call Jesus Christ and you call Jesus Christ. Call them the sin of God of Satan. That's what's written. Now go to 3 and 9. Revelation 3 and 9. Just in case you say you're a Gentile, you've been grabbing in, you won't try to say you're grabbing in among them because I know you're going to... Romans in the 11th chapter to prove that if you do at all. I don't know. Y'all just say it, but you don't have no proof of nothing because you can't say who you were grafting in among. I've asked uh, uh, religious people when they say that. We Gentiles been grafting in. I say, well, who you been grafting in among? Because nobody ever asked that. I'm asking you now, who you been grafting in among? Because they don't believe in no Romans 11th chapter. So who you been grafting in among? See, I mean, when you look at it, it's real ignorant, real in gross darkness, gross ignorance that they have put people in. I'm not saying what said in Revelation 3 and 9, what he said. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. He called them liars. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. That's what my Shabbat Shai said. See, so what you gonna do? You gonna still claim that? So let's go back to the Holy Spirit that y'all say y'all have when y'all running around the church like a chicken with his head cut off. That's why most of us say we gotta seek his face. And hopefully somebody will hear this and start to question themselves first and foremost. 